So when you take those four screws off, and reveal this, and this is where you can put your uh, optical drive, your uh, laptop optical drive in here. Um, it comes out, and then it's got two screws here that I'm not going to take out, but you get, because the video is going to be too long. This is where uh, the hard drive goes. It takes two um, two two point five inch drives and one three point five inch drive. So this one and there's a power supply. It's specially designed for this case. Uh, it has enough uh, cables uh, for uh, you know full size graphics card. Uh, those uh, three uh, three hard drives and the optical drive. Has enough uh, SATA ports for that, uh, and um, and that's about it. That's all it has. But what makes this uh, this power supply so special is uh, it's a 600 watt, 80 plus uh, bronze certified uh, power supply, which you don't get in most uh, Mini ITX uh, cases. Mini ITX, uh, I mean, all of the Mini, even the ones that they're uh, claimed to be. For gaming, the max you'll get is 400 watt or 450 watt. Uh, yeah, I think that's only several store offers those with 450. Most of them are like you know, 160, 250 uh, watt power supplies. But this one's a 600 watt power supply, so it has enough juice to run anything you throw at it. Um, those are the positive points of this case. Um, now let's go back to. The negative points. There are a few things that I don't like about this case, so we'll discuss those in a minute. Put my camera back. <coughs> First thing that I noticed, and I'm now I'm regretting why I purchased this case. I'm not really regretting, but I wish it was that would have done a little bit better. This is a gaming case. Well. Let's go back to the uh, 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 the positives. This is, it will support anything you throw at it. Um, you know, it's nice size, not too big, not too small. It's a little bit bigger than most most mini ITX uh, cases, but uh, it's almost as you know, slightly smaller than uh, micro ITX uh, case. But um, it's got a whole lot of punch, you know full size you know dual slide graphics card full size power supply that fan is amazing humongous um, so those are the positive points uh, it's got good ventilation uh, filters for everything um, you know nice size power supply and all that oh yeah I should forgot to show you one more thing here's a little ventilation for uh, for the power supply it draws cooler in from here and it gets out of the side right here so that's another positive everything's good your power supply won't get hot or nothing like that if it came like that but this thing looks a bit you can see that maybe it's by design. I don't know. I'll figure it out later. I guess it's by design. But um, so the negative points of this particular case. First is the price. It is expensive, very expensive. Uh, Two hundred bucks for a mini ITX case. Yep, yeah. a, a little expensive. It's kind of out of my budget but I had to get it I don't know why but I did it uh, I got my tax return that's why I got it but <laughs> uh, yeah two hundred dollars for this case I mean I, I know I had the power supply in it all but if it was a little bit cheaper it would have been better and then if uh, if you get it from most retail stores I mean not retail stores but more most retail stores won't have these I, I haven't seen it anywhere uh, here in Texas, uh, in uh, Dallas, Texas, I've been to Micro Center. They don't have this case. I've been to uh, Fry's. They don't have it. I've been to uh, CompUSA. They don't have it. They don't have this case. 
so the only option you have is you get it from Amazon or you can get it from uh, Newegg but Newegg charges you should load for uh, for uh, shipping nineteen ninety nine to ship this baby so you know you pay two hundred plus for the case and then you pay twenty dollars more so it ends up being two forty nine to fifty for this case uh, which you can get most you know, full size cases for that much with power supply. Um, so that's one of the negative points. The other negative that I have uh, that I don't like about this case is the optical drive. Uh, I wanted to put a Blu ray uh, in here. Um, now, if I'm going to get the Blu ray in uh, for laptop, it's going to be very expensive, so I'm going to end up using it using just the uh, uh, what you call it the the DVD-RW instead of you know Blu-ray because it's gonna cost me about three four hundred not three hundred but you know two fifty two seventy to get a laptop ready drive uh, online it's very expensive and that's another I wish they would have you know a full size uh, I mean there's plenty of real estate here you know there's plenty of space over here by the hard drives. If they would have put a full size uh, optical drive bay, it would have been better. But you know, it'll do it. They are saving some space, so. Uh, but it'll do it. Uh, the other negative is uh, most cases that come out now, they have USB 3.0 front. Uh, this one doesn't. It's USB 2.0 only, so that's another negative. Uh, another negative would, would be there's plenty of space here. They could have put uh, a little bay here, you know, to put, you know, memory card reader or something like that. Um, or they could even put it on the bottom. It doesn't take a whole lot of space. Uh, if there was a memory card reader in here, that would have been better. Or if there was a bay in here that took memory cards, that uh, would have been a whole lot better. That way it would have been my all-in-one solution.